should you use 20 by 20 inches 10 by 25 inch or what if you use a 72 dpi instead of 300 dpi or how can you make the design work for all the sizes the client needs in this video you will learn how to select the right size for your design and later in the video i'll show you how to change the size of your design to fit every other size that your client will need now before choosing any size ask yourself one question what is this design for so based on what your client is using it for is it for instagram are they going to print it out is it a youtube thumbnail for a billboard and so on so if you're working with a client always ask them for the final use case so if the client is for instance going to print it out ask them what they are going to paste it on are they going to paste it on a board a wall a product such as a bottle a bowl and so on and so forth let them measure the dimensions of that thing and send them to you like what i did with this client for instance so this client wanted a design to be pasted at the side of the container where the blue marking is he sent me everything that was needed to do this design and i asked him to send me the dimensions as you can see the exact dimensions he said we have all the dimensions but he had not sent that to me so i emphasized that he sent them to me and look at what he said he wanted to design something like this form that is something in a portrait mode in a landscape i don't know if you get it so if you don't get the dimensions exactly how you want it to be you may think that he wanted this way meanwhile he sends it something like this so he has to give you the exact dimensions so that you can actually use that dimensions to design something that will fit that space so he sent me everything and then he gave me the dimensions as well as you can see right here can see the dimensions and then i use it and this is what i created for him as the final design so look at it this one will fit perfectly at the particular place that he wants to paste it in some cases the client may not know the exact size they may need and as well as you so in situations like that just google it and you will get a standard size to you but first share that with the clients and explain for them to understand before you use that something like a business card the clients may not know the exact size that they may need so you have to search for a standard size then get a standard size and show it to them if they want it that way then you go ahead and then you read it and when they are going to use it on social media without printing you should know that different platforms already have standard recommended sites so we don't need to get for example instagram forecast a site to be 1080 by 1080 pages which is basically a spare and that works as well for all social media pages not just instagram pages now on youtube too as well you can see that they have 1020 by 720 pages or you can use 1920 by 1080 pages for high quality thumbnail and so on and so forth so before designing check the standard sizes for that platform and this simple step to save you from having to redesign all over again so here in photoshop let me create a new file then explain to you this pop-up here so we get everything right now as you can see this is the recent tab or you can see the recent size of the design that you have used and also the save tab here is when you have saved something the size that you want to use in the future now let's head over to the pre section if you are designing for something like a letterhead that one it is just here so you just go ahead and then select it and there you go to a designing for something like just for apple you don't have to take it there just come and click on it and then go with it is it going to use like a6 a5 anything that it will specify just come here select it and then you are good to go now if you are going to use like a youtube thumbnail this one is what i use for my youtube thumbnail so this works for a youtube thumbnail as well after selecting a template here what i recommend you do is that make sure the ad box here is checked now i'm going to explain to you why the ad box must be checked in a moment for now make sure it is checked and as you can see you just click on create now in case you have your own dimension that you don't need to select any of these dimensions here you just come to this side as you can see this is where you can actually manipulate and then set your own size for whatever thing that you want to design so first of all you have to change the name so i'm going to change the name to brain text and now before you change the weight and then the height first of all change the unit that you are working in so if you are working in pixels change it to pixels and it goes on and on so for me let's say i'm working in inches 25 inches by 15 inches something like that and the orientation automatically sets when you set your dimensions right i mean when you set your weight and then your height right so if your weight is longer than your height that means it's going to be a landscape form and this is how to set for landscape now if your design is going to be maybe the height is going to be longer than the weight that means it's going to be portrait so it will automatically select portrait now for ad balls you need to make them check if it is like this make sure it is always checked for me that's what i recommend so i'm going to explain to you what this ad board keeping it checked can do for you in a moment in this video so the resolution tool as you can see right now it is 72 now there are just two types of resolutions that we have that is 72 which is for digital resolution 
and then 300 which is for print resolution so anything in between is just a guesswork now when you choose 72 dpi or resolution it means you are not going to print it out but the design is just going to be on phones on laptops on social media and it stays there now if you are going to select something like 300 or you are going to use something like 300 as your resolution that means the design is going to be printed now if let's say the design is going to be used for social media and you use 300 it doesn't mean the design is going to be bad no it's never going to be bad but the other thing that you need to take note is that when you use a higher resolution for your designs your laptop actually suffers if it doesn't have that much of space to contain so for you to stay safe make sure you confirm the dimension for your client and you confirm whether you're going to print it or not print it so sometimes they will tell you that they are going to share it and also print it that one set it at 300 and then you are good to go but in a case that you are not going to print it at all then the 72 will help you and your machine so that your workflow is going to be very smooth and then everything is going to be smooth and it's never going to lag for you so the resolution is same as dots per inch which is dpi so take note of that now for this part you're not going to change anything so after everything make sure you confirm you cross check if you have taken the right dimensions and everything and this guy is checked just click on quit so in case you are using affinity by canva everything is almost the same so click on the plus sign here and as you can see there are some templates for you here they have the a3 a4 so you can select any of these and then you just go ahead with that and if you have your own dimensions too as you can see you have the unit here you can select it and then the dpi too as i told you earlier 72 or 300 or you can even set it to 150 if you just feel like increasing it a bit for data design but for print make sure it's always at 300 so that the print is going to be high quality and order now the page rate as you can see you can change it here you can change everything as i showed you in photoshop and then adwords 2 is here you can make it check always and then you are good to go the name you can change it here so i'm going to change it to brain tech and then you are good to go the orientation that i thought about earlier that is the landscape and then the portrait that is where it lies here in affinity so when you click on this one it changes the dimension look at this one when you click on this it changes the dimension after everything is okay just click on create and then you're going to have your design here live in affinity so this is a design i did for my church some few weeks ago i'm going to use it to explain to you why you need to check the ad box when you are setting up your dimension let's say i want to extend the size so i add something beneath this side or let's say i just want to create space in between it more what i'll do is that i'll make sure that i click on the name here that will activate the edges around that i can select it like so and then expand it as you can see that's going to extend the size of the artboard that when i select this image and then bring it down you're just going to see see it's going to create some space for us to manipulate these guys in case you need to tweak it to make sure everything fits in correct that is when you are designing for social media you that one you can tweak your square a bit but if you are designing for print media you don't need to tweak it because that one you have the fixed size that you are working with so you make sure everything stays in there control z control z and we continue what i'm trying to explain to you the other thing that you can also do is that the client may need the other form of this design in a particular way this is just the one that they are going to share it but in case they also need one that they are going to also project it what you have to do is that you have to create a new art board and then you arrange the element on it based on the size that you have displayed so with this one you can see let me go back when you make this one activated and the edges activated you can click on this class sign here and this class sign is going to create a new ad board where it is plain let me bring it to this side and then let me try and then manipulate the side so first of all you have to know the exact size that they need for that particular projection so make sure that you ask for the particular dimension for the particular projection so for me they needed it like a thumbnail size so something like a 9 by 6 inches or 1920 by 1080 pixels click on the name and it's going to be selected come up here you can see this is the sizes and where you can actually manipulate and change the size to so right click on it and then change it to inches and as you can see this part to right click on it and then click on inches if we're working in inches and as you can see i can just change the weight to 16 and then the height to 9 click on enter with this giving all that i have to do is that right click pick up the background make sure the folder everything is selected like this and then pick it and bring it up here expand it to i mean fill up the bottom part of it like so you pick up any of the items 
and then you arrange them nicely on the design you just have to pick them up and then you arrange them at a particular places that you want them to be so just like that and then you are good to go but one thing that you need to know is that you see as i'm picking them it is also destroying that particular flyer now i made a mistake let me control z what i did and then explain to you what you must do now what you have to do is that when you right click and then you select the one that you want to copy let's say this is the group that you want to copy to this particular place you don't need to just pull it up here what you have to do is that just press and hold on alt on your keyboard and then you drag it to this side that is going to copy it to this side so it's not going to take it completely off from here but it's going to create a duplicate where you are going to bring it here so Control t and then you transform it you change the size of it and then you're good to go and now right click on this part and then bring it along here copy it bring it here i press and hold on alt so you have to do that so that it copies and then you bring it here and make sure you arrange it nicely like so perfect i'm going to make a full video on how to use ad boards that is aside from these sizes thing you can actually use it for some other things and that is also something that you need to know so check that video out very soon so after you are done with everything and then you've seen that these sizes are the ones that your clients needs what you have to do is that make sure you name them so as you can see over here i've named them new gym blah 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 portrait new j sunday service landscape we just want to i just want to add it up just for the sake of this video so i'm gonna rename it to let's say landscape backup something like that and then enter as you can see i have all their names intact and then what you have to do next is that you have to go to file and then go to save us and then over here choose where you want to save the file so i'm going to save it on the desktop for the sake of this video and then the name you can change it so now i'm going to stick with new sunday service PSD and I'm going to save and then click on OK. So after it is saved, we are now coming to save it in the version that you can send to the client for it to be printed, pasted, shared, and all that. That's the JPEG. So what you have to do is that go to file again and now you don't go to save as but you go to export. And when you hover on export, you see export as click on that. Over here, even before you touch anything here, what you have to do is that you make sure that you select the one that you want to export. So for me, I will export everything together. So to do that, select the first one like this and press and hold on shift on the keyboard and select the last one that you want to select and it's going to select everything like so. Now, when you are done with that, what you have to do is that you come to this side of the screen where the format is, make sure it is JPEG and then the quality, you can keep it at seven by for the sake of the sizes, I will keep it at maybe six. Yeah, so after these ones, you don't have to change anything here again. You just have to just go straight and click on export. And then again, you select the place that you want to save it. For me, I'm going to save it on my desktop for the sake of this video. So select folder. And just like that, it is saved as a JPEG. So that's how it is. As you can see, you see, we have it here, the portrait and then the landscape and then the landscape backup as simple as that everyone is saying use ai use ai but no one is actually showing how you can use ai in design that is why this video is right here for you to watch and then five ways you can actually use ai in your design workflow one of the best part of this video is that i actually showed how you can use ai to recreate this design from Dili Bonga. so you can make this video go check it out and until next time quench not your creativity peace